the polar bear. But it hardly seems fair game. This seal wouldn't say boo to a bear, and cute just isn't going to cut it. The bear's teeth are as sharp as a tiger's. This seal could soon be sushi. This time, the predator gets its prey. But can we expect this result every time? Let's look at how the contenders measure up. The seal weighs a max of 80 kilos. The polar bear tips the scales at 800. The seal can grow up to one and a half meters. The polar bear is twice the size at three. The seal can live for 40 years, 10 more than your average bear. So how does a seal avoid becoming bear food for 40 years? For starters, any self-respecting seal is never far from an emergency exit. It's the oldest trick in the book. The seal gives this bear the slip. But like a naval sub, the seal needs to remain on enemy alert. It listens out for danger, not with its ears, but with its whiskers. At the base of each one is a set of minute crystals that pick up the tiniest vibrations in the water. These whiskers are ten times more sensitive than a cat's, but they have to be warm to work well. So the seal diverts warm blood from the rest of its body to its face. This thermal image shows the hottest zones. Okay, so the seal's super senses give it a fighting chance. But the polar bears aren't to be sniffed at. It has good eyesight, sharp hearing, and a nose that can detect a seal 30 kilometers away. But a seal hidden under the ice is a little trickier to sniff out. This seal's on red alert. It can hear something. A polar bear's padded footsteps are virtually silent, but to a seal, they sound like an earthquake. Every step the bear takes crushes the ice crystals below its feet, transmitting sound waves through to the water and straight to the seal's whiskers. As long as the bear keeps moving, the seal knows exactly where it is. But the seal can't hide forever. Like all mammals, it's got to breathe. It has several breathing holes to choose from, but picking one is like Russian roulette. Pick the wrong hole, and it's dead meat. Its whiskers now go into overdrive. But the bear stops. Now there's no way of knowing where it is. And the seal's oxygen levels are fast running out. The bear plays the waiting game. It has all the time in the world. If it makes this kill, it won't need to eat again for a week. What the seal does in the next few seconds will determine whether it lives or dies. With oxygen reaching a critical low, there are only two ways to go. One, surface and risk a violent death. Two, 
drown. Not really much of a choice, eh? It's got to gamble. But once it starts rising, it's so buoyant, the only way is up. And the polar bear is waiting. But at the wrong hole. Thanks to its super senses, the seal gets away 95% of the time. It's smarter than your average bear. In search of our next prey animal, we head to tropical waters. <laughs> 